guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an honest university experience video. I've had a lot of people ask me in my DMs what my university experience was like, if I enjoyed it, kind of the elements of what happens at university and just everything that surrounds it really. So I wanted to make a video about my honest, full university experience from year one all the way to year three. So I'm just going to talk about a couple of different points and my personal experience of what happened and what I thought of university as an experience in Hull. So I went to the University of Manchester to study psychology and I've been there since 2017 so I was in first year in 2017 which feels like forever ago like I feel really old now to be honest. I did the BSc psychology so it was a bachelor of science in psychology and I really enjoyed my course but it was pretty rocky and there was kind of like a lot of ups and downs throughout my whole university experience. So I just want to cover a couple of points to give you an honest review of what I thought of university and what I thought of going to university at the University of Manchester and also if I would recommend it to you guys. Now I've got a couple of points on my phone and I'm just going to go through them one by one and explain to you my experience with different aspects of university life and the curriculum and the actual degree and everything that surrounds it as well as what's been happening with coronavirus and how they've handled the situation. So the first point is accommodation. So in my first year I was in university halls. I stayed in the accommodation in Fallowfield. If you know Manchester, Fallowfield is sort of like a student area. It's almost like a student village. It's mostly students that live there and it is really good fun to live there because you know everyone and you really feel like you're part of a community. So I really like Fallowfield but the accommodation was questionable, I'll tell you that. So I stayed in Oak House, which is next to Owens Park. There's a famous building called the Tower. It's famous in university terms because it's sort of known as the dingy, grotty student accommodation at the University of Manchester. I stayed in the accommodation called Oak House. So this is one of the cheaper accommodations and it definitely lived up to its price. Um, I will say I did not feel very comfortable in this accommodation. There were actually rumours going around that it was built by prison architects, which I honestly wouldn't be surprised about. So it was a kind of questionable building, but it was called Oak House and it was situated in Valleyfield, which is Student Village. It was around 15 minutes from university by bus, which again was kind of difficult to deal with because it was hard to get in and out of uni and there was a lot of traffic on that one road going from Fallowfield to the university called the Curry Mile. So I lived in a flat with eight people and there was only two bathrooms. So it was very studenty and very grotty. It was also known as the party accommodation. Now I didn't really know what party accommodation meant when I signed up for it. I thought that meant fun and partying. I didn't realize that partying meant drugs, but it does in Fallowfield and in Manchester. So if you're not into that scene, I would recommend maybe like not staying in party accommodation. My room was very depressing. I had this very, very tiny room. It had one single bed, a small wardrobe and a small desk and it was really cramped. You couldn't really like walk around in there so much. Like there was maybe like this much space between like the bed and the desk. I mean that's a bit dramatic but it was not that much space at all. It had like green painted brick walls. I was thinking of going into private accommodation when I was signing up for university and I decided not to because people said that you wouldn't have as much of a social life which I think is definitely true if you meet your people in your accommodation but I didn't meet my people in my accommodation so I almost feel like I would have been better off living in private halls but it's sort of a question of preference I guess and what you prefer and where you would feel more comfortable but it was very much a party accommodation and it wasn't very luxurious I mean you can't expect that from student accommodation anyway but I would definitely be wary when looking at party accommodation because be prepared for it to be really really loud I remember the entire time that I lived there it was so loud all the time because it was people coming back from nights out people would have flat parties there all the time which could be fun but it's also really hard if you're trying to sleep or in exam season people would be so loud so I definitely didn't really like the accommodation I also developed anxiety while I was at university so yeah so the next point is the social scene so University of Manchester is very very social there's loads of nights out for all kinds of different people but the main sort of scene in Manchester is the rave scene so it's more like drum and bass and sort of like grimy basements <laughs> that's the way that I could describe the social scene so the social scene is very much grimy techno drum and bass if you're into that then great you'll have a great time if you're not it's very hard to find your people I found it really hard to find people that were like me because I just wasn't like the majority 
just not like other girls but you know what I mean like I just wasn't like the majority of people who went there so I found it very difficult to find people that were similar to me but I'd say at Manchester the, one of the biggest problems is it's very hard to find people that are like you if you're not like the majority or if you don't hit lucky with the people that you're put with in accommodation I really had to go out of my way to meet people I made a couple of friends in first year and second year and I stayed with a different group of friends to the ones that I had in first year and second year and I had a great time and they are some of my best friends but my big friend group actually happened when I joined cheerleading so the cheerleading society at Manchester is amazing and this leads on to the next point of societies and clubs so cheerleading at University of Manchester was absolutely incredible it was a big group of girls and we would go out every Wednesday to AU which is called like the sports social so AU stands for athletics union and it basically is a weekly night where you dress up to a theme and you go out with all the other people from the different sports clubs I really really enjoyed cheerleading and I only joined it in my third year so I regret not doing that earlier so if you are joining University of Manchester or going to uni I would definitely recommend doing a social sport um, cheerleading I just loved so much because you had the training and you were sort of working together for a common goal and that did bond us quite a lot and we had training so much and we just became this very close-knit group of people and I really really enjoyed doing that so I'd say if you are struggling with finding friends or finding people that are like you join societies it sounds really cliche I didn't want to join societies in first year because I thought oh no like I'll make enough friends like without it but genuinely joining a society you'll find people with common interests interest to you regardless of if you have them in your accommodation or not so I love doing cheerleading and societies are a great way to meet people and I would definitely recommend doing them if you are going to university. So the next point are the facilities so University of Manchester it had great facilities for medicine, dentistry, sciences I'm not I can't really speak for social sciences as much because obviously I did psychology so we had labs we didn't have um, like anatomy labs I know that Psychology and neuroscience do have anatomy labs, but we didn't. Um, but the facilities were really, really good. We had really big lecture theatres. There was a lot of food on campus. It was all very close together. What I love about Manchester is it's a very close-knit community and it's a very close-knit campus. So you kind of have everything within walking distance of each other, so you don't really need to travel. Unless you're an engineering student, then you often have to go to the North Campus, I feel for you. But yeah, it was a very um, campus feel, which I did like. It feels very American, because I was planning on going to an American university. The one university that I feel is the most similar to American campus universities is the University of Manchester, just because of how campus feeling it is. So facility-wise, it's great. It has two study spaces, two main study spaces. It has the main library, which has loads of different divisions. I've cried there many a night, so I have great fond memories of the main library. And there's also this one building called Ali G. It's a very snazzy, modern glass building that everyone likes to go and study in. So the next point is administration. So I think the administration at Manchester was really, really good. If you had a problem, they would reply to you quite quickly and they were very organized and systematic with any issues or queries you had with admin. They also would send you like a weekly email with the updates of like your faculty. And it was really easy to get in contact with the people that you needed to if you had any queries or concerns or problems with your work. The admin was great at University of Manchester and I thought it was good. The next point is support with work. So, this one's hard because at university you can expect not to be spoon fed work like you are at A level and GCSE. So, the jump from like A levels to uni is hard as it is. And I don't really feel like you had as much support with work because you genuinely just had like your lectures and your labs and then you were sort of left to do it by yourself. There was obviously discussion boards and stuff that you could like go on to and ask questions but there wasn't really so much support in terms of feedback on essays and it, you kind of have to figure out by yourself how to improve so that I think could be improved although they did have like writing clinics and stuff which actually helped me improve my writing massively so I think they do have elements of support but I do think that there could be more um, I just felt sometimes a bit alone with work and the direction that I was going in and what to do to improve my grades. So I think in terms of work, it could have had more support. I just want to mention, obviously with coronavirus, they have been very, very supportive in the coronavirus time. They've been emailing all of us individually. I have DAS, which is like an extra, um, like support thing because of my anxiety and they're really really helpful with that with extending deadlines and making sure that you're okay so 
in terms of support, it's definitely like amped up during coronavirus but I feel like the level of support that they have for us at the moment should have been there all three years. The next point is careers. So <laughs> when I started at University of Manchester I was getting career letters like every week even though I was a first year. They're very career focused which is great because they get you prepared for thinking about what you want to do, what you want to be, what you want to do after you graduate. I definitely had my fair few career chats because I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do with my life. So the career service is actually really great and I can't fault it to be honest. So the next point I want to make is just sort of my university experience as a whole. So I started university in 2017. I didn't feel comfortable in the accommodation because it wasn't really my scene. I developed anxiety and panic attacks in second semester. And then when I slowly started finding my people, it got better. In second year, I moved to a uni house and I was really happy there. Two of my best friends. I met two of my best friends in that house and I'm still really close to those girls. So second year was great and then third year was honestly the best year of my life. I loved it so much. I was finally able to balance work appropriately with social life. I joined cheerleading. I met so many amazing girls at cheerleading and I also had my best friends from second year still with me and I lived with one of my best friends this year and I just had a great time in third year and I'm so sad that it came to an end this way because I really would have liked to graduate. I mean I will graduate but I would have liked to have a graduation ceremony and I am sad how university came to an end. So yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you very soon.